Elderman Hunwald, you honor your father by answering my call. Swanborough sends her regards. My lady love, let her name be my flame of hope, for I confess the thought of this battle turns my guts to water. Ah, fighting is easy. Just look your opponent in the eyes, and then put an axe between them. Yes, I remember. Well, I have brought the best archers in Lincolnshire to lend their bows to your cause. Good. We will rain death upon our enemies today. Good work, Hunwald. Be ready. And so violence begets violence. An eye for an eye, as the good book says. But soon we will all be blind. Not quite. Whoever makes the last strike should still have one eye left. In the street of the blind, the one-eyed man is called the guiding light. Does that holy tome of yours have a quote for everything? Eivor, forgive me. I have slain too many of my own people already. I cannot kill more. I must return to London. And you, Erke? Do you feel the same? Someone has to keep an eye on him in the big city. He would only get himself killed otherwise. We took this camp together, so I will ask no more of you. Return home, and let your friendship be a beacon to our peoples. Godspeed, Eivor. I pray you come back safe. <laughs> Hunwald. It and how well. Believe me. Ever my stunned ally, Lufina. Are your men ready? They are. Bows strung and arrows fletched. We will harry the enemy from the flanks to keep them off your back. They will not have a moment's peace from us. I know I can count on you. What are friends for? Birsten, I'm glad to see you again. How is your family? Alvida keeps my house and heart in order. She has even charmed that old shrew, Adred. And Elleridge? He has not returned. I hear stories of a man full of tempests, picking fights in taverns. We must hope, when hope is all we have. I'm sorry for your troubles, but glad for your help. I have brought for you a ram of unsurpassed craftsmanship. Their gates will not hold long against it. That is a fine gift indeed. I will make good use of it. Fight hard, Eivor. When have I done otherwise? It's something to do with a candle. Fuck that. So, my Jarlskona, you seem grave. I'm thinking on the battle to come. Every conflict has a cost. I wonder who will pay this time. We are no strangers to loss, you and I. The ache of absent souls is a wound that never heals. But we may yet return your brother to your side. There is that. Fulke and her men will bear the cost today, not us. I wish I were as sure of it as you. Feel great. Uba, any advice before we begin? Advice? You need none of that now. You stand in no one's shadow, Eivor. Lofty praise from the son of Ragnar Lofbrook. It may be that one day our paws lead us to doom, Eivor. But at least we can say the footprints we left were our own. 
Bishop Deolav. Strange to see a man of God on the battle lines. It may surprise you, but I was no stranger to horse and hunt in my younger days. It is Saxons we fight this day, Deolav. Not Britons, and not in Mercia. It is Fulke I fight. A false Christian preaching a corruption of God's word. If I can assist in her downfall, I will. Then you're welcome here, friend. Quite the agent of chaos. Fulke's men are chasing their tails, not knowing where you will strike next. Porchester has neither the supplies nor the forces to keep us out now. And you have bought time for your allies to arrive. Many have come, not least the bishop here. As I promised. <laughs> As the keeper of God's word, it would be poor form if I did not keep my own. Now, if the talking is done, there's blood to be spilled. Eivor, dark news. We found a letter on one of the dead. Fulke has called for aid. Reinforcements. A Saxon army marches from Winchester. Then my men and I will ride to meet them. We will harry them every step of the way to buy you time. We may begin the assault at once, or you might wish to speak with your allies, if you've not done so already. Warm words do thaw the chill of battle fear. We march. When the sun sets on this day, Sigurd will be returned to us, and Fulke's head will be on a spike. Let us begin. the gift I left you in Canterbury? You will die today, Fulke! But your men may live if you come here to me and settle this alone. We have nothing to settle. Die on these walls if you will. It is your choice. No wall is high enough to keep me from you. Then come! Claim your brother if you can. I shall wait with him. If you would find us... You need only follow his screams. Fulke! What will the Skalds say when they speak of this day? They will say we unleashed such rampant slaughter that Odin himself stirred on his throne to watch. They will say that ravens blackened the sky to feast on Saxon dead. So raise your swords with me now, brothers and sisters, for today is the day we carve our names into legend! <laughs> I'm coming for you, brother. So many battles and so few scars, Basil. What's your secret? Don't get hit. Aha! The simplest strategies are the best. Clear the way! Let's take down that palisade! Face 
Face us, Fuke! Your cowardice betrays you! Another palisade! We have to knock it down! Ravens will tear your flesh! Look out! Oil!
with an axe in my fist. Shut 
Just run, rabbit! I see what you did. 